All right, hello YouTube. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video, so I figured, hey, it's about time I did something. And actually might be another video coming up pretty soon. I'm not sure, but hoping. So anyways, getting right down to the point. Um, let me back up here just a little bit, give you a better view. So I know it's another video of my Power Edge 1430 SC, my SC1430. Um, but there's a story behind this. It's not going to be a teardown or another overview. It's actually, I just wanted to show you something. And hopefully, this won't take too long. So, my dad is going to buy a Power Edge SC1430. Or uh, my recommendation, because I figured. Um, it would be a lot cheaper for him. Uh, he wanted to do a full out brand new computer. And I was completely down with that. I was going to do the video of the, um, you know, the whole build and post it up on YouTube for you guys to watch. Um, but then we were getting into it, you know, we're looking at, okay, we got to buy this. We got to buy the. We got to buy the case and we got to buy the motherboard and the processor and the memory and the graphics card and the sound card and the NIC card and the optical drives and any cables that we need. And in some cases, um, you might have to buy a power supply as well, which can be, <clears throat> excuse me, which can be very expensive. You know, it can be very, very expensive. And <clears throat> I suggested getting one of these on eBay because I found a couple that we were just going to beef up um, and, you know, just make it really, really super nice for them. <clears throat> so, and it's also going to cost us a lot less. It's going to, we estimated it was going to cost about six hundred dollars for the computer um he's getting um two quad core uh, processors so he's gonna have eight cores total um he's gonna have 16 gigabytes of ram which i'm gonna give a little teaser here actually what this video is actually all about but i'm trying to give you a quick over view of why this video is being made so you know um and we're gonna put a nicer graphics card but you know we're not sure and you know we gotta stay within a certain budget here you know money might not might not, money might not be available enough for that kind of beef up um we're gonna actually recycle some computer um some hard drives from his computer right here that's also his that's his computer right there sitting in the corner I love this I wish I didn't have to give it back it's actually nice having working with an i3 that's actually an i3 over there it's a really really nice computer even though it's an HP just kidding it's actually not a bad computer my beautiful Lenovo and he actually has has my M58 right now my dual core my baby but she's doing good. I saw her yesterday. And she's doing okay. He's taking good care of her. So I'm happy. Um, so. <clears throat> so what ha what's going on is. We were debating. How much memory. You could actually put in this. Now I saw. From Dell's website. That the maximum amount. You can buy. I mean, the, actual, the amount it's not the, that you can buy. The maximum, the, eh, okay, let me get myself together here where I can actually talk. Um, the maximum amount of RAM that you can put into this is 8 gigabytes. And this is coming from Dell's website. Um, but then I saw, you know, people running this with 16 gigabytes. And I've seen a lot of um, eBay um, 
um, purchase, um, uh, um, auctions or sell one of those sell it nows that sell 16 gigabytes at a time, which makes me think that you could. So I did a little digging around in YouTube and different websites and I came across um, the Wikipedia for all the Dell PowerEdge servers. You know, it gives a pretty detailed history. Now, in that one, in that listing for the PowerEdge SC1430, which is this one right here, it says you can put a maximum of 16 gigabytes inside this computer and it will still work. Now, when I first got, well, after I got this computer, I bought some beef ups for this girl, this old girl. Uh, I gave her uh, two terabytes because she had one, oh, I can't remember what, what it was. It was like a 40 or 80 gigabytes um, hard drive. It had a really cruddy optical drive, which I replaced out, actually replaced it with a, um, I believe this is, yeah, this is a burner up on the top here. This optical drive on the top is a burner. And this bottom one is just a, a standard um, DVD-ROM. Uh, yeah, my old cruddy receiver. That thing's been through, been through hell and back and still working. So, anyways, I was just really confused on how much memory could be actually put in here. So I decided to do this. I decided just to put it all in and see what would happen. See if this thing would even accept all that memory. So watch this. Not the F2 setup screen. This takes a minute. It's a little slow at the beginning. And it's going through a, its old boot up thing. It's getting there. It's just about there. Once it gets about to that where the zero is, it's poop. Yeah, there you go. See? Now look at that. 16 gigabytes it actually recognizes the whole thing you don't worry about that that's just it's gonna skip that in a minute and it will boot up into Windows I have um, right now I have Windows uh, 7 professional on this and the reason I have it on uh, professional on this is because it gives you the ability to stripe um, hard drives together and make them one giganto um, hard drive and I yes I know the risks if one of them fails you lose everything but the right speeds on this thing are like you couldn't believe I mean they're just amazing so um let me just go up here for a second because I'm not going to show you my password. And look at that. And there it is. My Power Edge. SC1430 running with 16 gigabytes and I'll show you guys my um, stats here. You see that? Look at that. Windows recognizes 16 gigabytes. And yes, this is running a 64-bit operating system because it is 64-bit capable, which is awesome. I mean, this computer is, I believe it's a, It's going to be 11 this year. It was manufactured in, 
uh, November of 2006. And the reason I know that is because I saw the production stamp inside. The date production damp, state damp, up uh, that state damp? That, oh my goodness. Wow, I am out of it today. Um, date stamp, production date stamp on it, which was, I believe it was 11806. Uh, so it was right at the end of 06, 07. So this is probably one of the last 1430s that went out. Or, you know, in that last few few batches that went out. Uh, because they did the, uh, the next model the following year. And it's um, Xeon Core, 3 gigahertz. Uh... Running Windows Professional, Service Pack 1. Uh, yeah, I know the index rating is low. That's because I don't have a great um, pro uh, graphics processor on here. I'm actually just using the, uh, the, standard, um, gra uh, the standard VGA output. I, I could probably boost that number up to a little higher if I um, put a nicer card in here because... Most of the other stuff, actually, I'll show you real quick. Uh, you guys can see the processor, um, it's not too bad. The memory is, you know, really good. Or not bad at all. <clears throat> but then you go down, right, see where the two blue highlighted ones are? That's what's bringing the score down. Yep, the, graf the graphics and the gaming graphics are terrible. But you can actually see the um, the disk uh, subscore is pretty good. It's actually better than the RAM. And there's 16 gigabytes of RAM on this sucker. So yeah, I mean, if I really wanted to, I could bring this thing up, you know, a little bit by putting a nicer a nicer graphics card. But you know what? I just use this for transferring files back and forth. You know, I basically take from this computer, I, you know, um, look at files on this computer or even my dad's computer or my, um, my 57 over there. And those are just junk computers. Actually, it's a junk computer, my back scratcher, and um, the old gateway, <laughs> uh, which is nothing more than a case now. It's just an empty case. And that computer I bought for 10 bucks. And yeah, the old HP down there, which is really doing a lot of nothing. And also my, um, I don't know if you can see it next to the blue bag there, my laptop, which is, I believe it's running XP right now. I think that's about the best I can get on it. Um, there's some junk up there, up on the top there. Yeah, just some junk. So, all right, I'm going to stop rambling because I've been on for almost 13 and a half minutes. So, yeah, you know what, guys know what to do. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't like it. You know, and always, please leave a comment. I love to hear your comments, guys. And I hope to be making a video really, really soon. I really do, guys. I will talk to you guys soon.